drawers, yeah she leaving. She ready to drop her drawers, drop her drawers. I got your life in my hands. Watch how I put it in pause. pause. I did this shit with no heart. Fuck all that drama. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video with your boy. It's your boy Dior. You know what I'm saying? And I'm back for another video. Let's get straight into it, man. All right, so. Women will want you 10 times more when you stop being nice to them. I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to keep telling y'all niggas this, but stop being fucking nice to these hoes, man. Or females. You know what I'm saying? Stop being nice to these females, bro. Like, it's not gonna get you nowhere in life, bro. It's gonna keep you in the same fucking spot that you in right now. I don't know what it's gonna take for y'all niggas to know, to see this. Y'all gonna keep being like them niggas that be out in the club. They know, they know females on Instagram, right? So they go to a party. Let's say you in college. They see these females, they, these bad females that they want. These so-called high-value females, high-quality, when they just really just look good. But anyways, they see them at the party. They go to the parties with two or three of their homeboys or four homeboys, and they sit on the wall like this. Damn, she bad. They be like, damn, she bad. And then they, they go home and text her like, on Instagram like, that was you at the party. Oh, um, you was looking good. Nigga, why you ain't go talk to her? You ain't had a confidence. You know what I'm saying? So shut up. She not hearing that. She like, why he didn't talk to me? Why he didn't try to come get my number? You know what I'm saying? They be Y'all niggas too worried about getting rejected and being fearful. But look, let's just say, let me give y'all a scenario. Let's just say you're not even the most attractive dude. You know what I'm saying? Because no dude could be the most attractive dude in the world. It's always going to be some some dude that look better than you, that's doing something better than you, that got more money than you, got better cars than you. You know what I'm saying? It's always somebody that's going to be better than you. That's just that's just life. But that don't mean that you can't have confidence about yourself and hustle and grind and get everything that you need to get and obtain the information and knowledge that you need to obtain to get whatever girl you want. For example, me. I'm 5'5", five, five, nigga. I'm 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, I still fuck tall. I still fuck tall bitches, nigga. I don't. I don't got tall hoes before. So that just to let. That's just to put that out there. Let y'all niggas know y'all could do whatever you want to do with these females, bro. Like, there's nothing special about them. You know what I'm saying? And not not no disrespect to no females, but I'm just telling y'all need to stop putting them on a the pedestal. Like they just like me and you. You know what I'm saying? They they normal, just like me and you. They take a shit every day just like me and you <laughs> they take a shit every day but anyways let's just say you a dude right let's just say you not attractive at all okay that's gonna put you in a, a low percentage of dudes right put you in a, in a group with a low percentage of dudes that don't get bad females or the ig models or the tens the nines you probably getting like fours threes twos you know what I'm saying? So, you don't want to be the unattractive dude with no confidence. Like, why would you want that? Like, that's even worse. That's even worse than being just ugly, being confident or knowing how to talk to girls. Like, so you, you tell them you want to be ugly, unattractive, and unsure, unsure of yourself? Like, you're not going to get no girls like that. No girl. They don't want no niggas. They don't got no confidence about themselves. Straight like that, man. Point blank, simple, simple as that. They not gonna want you, bro. That's why I say you got you gotta you gotta get it right up here. Why are you self improving and going to the gym? So you can look at physically and mentally. Mentally is most important. A lot of females don't pay attention to um. Why well, ain't gonna say female? They pay attention to, to whether niggas go to the gym and shit. But that's not gonna 100% rule you out whether you're gonna get her number or if y'all gonna talk. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm saying? Because females don't even work out like that. Well, most females don't work out like that. A lot of females do, but most of them, bro, they just looking for looks. They, they look at your body. They look at your body, but like they don't just, oh, this nigga don't got a six pound, I'm not talking. No, it don't work like that, bro. As long as you like not no obese ass, 300 pound ass nigga. And you like a hundred something pounds, bro. She not, she she gonna give you the number. She not finna turn you down just cause, you know what I'm saying? Or some little shit like that. But females do look for niggas that's working out in the gym. So that's why I say y'all niggas need to get in the gym if y'all haven't. You know what I'm saying? 
It's just all part of the grind. Some of y'all niggas need to get y'all heart broke so y'all can self improve the right way and grind. Cause a lot of y'all ain't been shut down for real, for real by no females. So y'all don't, y'all don't understand what it means to self improve. Like from the bottom of the ladder, work your way up to the top tier. Being top tier gonna, being top tier gonna get you way more shorties, my boy. Like I say, when they see you looking good, when they see you got a business or self improving, they see you like busy doing something. Females like the niggas that's busy. They don't like the niggas that's sitting around not doing shit, not hustling for no bag. You know what I'm saying? They, they want a nigga that's on his shit. A nigga that's ambitious and goal-oriented. You know what I'm saying? Nigga that's getting money. Of course, females, they got all the type of niggas that they like, right? You got you got your trappers. You got your scammers. You got your college niggas. You got YouTubers. You know what I'm saying? You got models, business owners. You know what I'm saying? You got all these people in different categories. You don't want to be the nigga in the category that's not doing nothing. Because you're going to be right here, my boy. You're going to be down low. You don't want to be up under everybody else. You want to be doing something. You need to go You need to go get your own motion. If you ain't got your own motion right now or not working towards nothing, you need to um, you need to put the shotties down and stop chasing them, bro. I didn't say this before. When you stop chasing shotties and run out of money, you never run out of shotties. You know what I'm saying, but when you chase a shawty, you're gonna always run out of money. And y'all know females, they don't want no broke niggas, bro. Y'all niggas need to get some money, bro. You ain't gotta be rich, but you gotta be getting a bag of some type. If it's a nine to five, go, go get you a bag through the nine to five. If you if you got them scamming, go ahead, go ahead, bust you a couple, bust you a couple of accounts. <laughs> go ahead, bust you a couple of accounts, just don't get caught. Uh, if you do, you you going away, my boy. But hell yeah, go get y'all some, go get y'all some um, money, bro. Get on your grind. I I suggest y'all don't get in no relationships right now. I mean, you can, but it's gonna hinder your success. I advise y'all to stay single until you get where you want to be in life, until you get successful. I had seen a post on Instagram the other day. It was like, stay single until you get to where you want to be. Which I heavily believe in it. A lot of y'all niggas scared, bro. Y'all niggas need to stop being scared and take that risk, my boy. Y'all taking a risk with these females, not knowing if they gonna want to stay with you forever. Knowing y'all, knowing they not, bro. Y'all, like, how would I just responded to a girl story the other day? Like I wasn't trying to highlight her. Nothing. Um, she was a girl that do tattoos or whatever. I was like. I was like, um, why do you shawties be having whole niggas and they be on Instagram making these little polls, right, trying to get attention? You know what I'm saying? They be seeking validation. They want that attention. They, these females, some of them be unsure of they self. That's why I don't be worried about if a female like me or not if I shoot my shot, because they barely like they self. <laughs> they barely like they self. And half of these females ain't shit. Like, they always end up cheating. That's living proof. We ain't even gonna, we ain't even gonna talk about that, cause I really could get into some shit and make y'all niggas laugh for real. If y'all want some, if y'all want some story times, let me know. Cause I ain't, I ain't gonna throw no names on no story time, but females cheat all day. Females cheat all day long. Like they say they loyal, bro, but it's almost like y'all see this dope. It's like this female. This, this the female on the other side of this door. She'll be like, oh, I got a nigga. The door unlocked. The door is unlocked. You know what I'm saying? The door is unlocked. But, hey, yeah, yeah. You can't trust in all these females. Like, it's it's like 2% of females in the world that's loyal. The other 98% ain't shit. So, why you wasting, why you wasting that three year, three years of your life? With that one shawty, bro, you could be uploading on YouTube for that three years and you could begin some paper. That could be one source of income or whatever you want to do, however you want to look at it. But back to the Instagram story shit, I, I had seen she made a pose, bro. These females be making polls trying to get attention. And they be trying to get attention and this thing you know, they just, 
They be on there trying to get niggas to respond. I seen Shawty had um put her put her hand up. She had a ring on her finger. She made a poll trying to somehow talk to me and shit like that. She had a ring on her finger, right? They just be trying to get attention, bro. I'm like, if you got a nigga, why is y'all sitting here making these fucking posts? Why do y'all be making a post if y'all got a nigga? Shit pointless to me. And my girl is doing that shit, be single. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? So many shawties in the world to be settling for less. Like, y'all niggas got to tighten up, bro. These females, they just want to they just wanna suck you dry for whatever you got to their own, to the next nigga. It's like a ladder. They just climbing a ladder to a bunch of niggas. Trying to get whatever they could get. Trying to get an easy little come up. But, yeah, then she had responded to y'all. She was like, are you in a relationship? Like, I didn't respond. I just left that bit on red because, like, it don't matter. Like, you, you going around the point. It don't matter if I'm in a relationship or not, shawty. Like, y'all y'all be in these temporary relationships knowing it's going to end in a year or months or two. Or you could have, when a nigga could have spent that time doing something else. You could spend that time getting into his bag. But I know from experience, because I did that in the past a long time. I done been in a relationship for two, three years, wasted time. When I know I want to be big on YouTube or whatever, start a business. Yeah, I should have been seeing these videos like two years ago. That's why I'm got them going so crazy now and got five channels. We ain't got no time to waste. We got no time to waste. And we not taking no days off. If we do, we still brainstorming for the videos we're going to film next week or tomorrow. So with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all. Love y'all niggas. See y'all in the next video, man. We gone. This third video for the day, man. We gone. Hey, done. Stop my cooking oh. beef in the kitchen. I'm with top yeah. chef, got it. I'm with top chef, got it. Riding in a ride.